Good morning. This is Jackie Eister Songster coming to you from Indianapolis, Indiana. And I have with me Mr. Tom Hooks of Rind Entertainment. Good morning, Tom. How are you? I am doing well. How are you this morning? I'm doing fabulous. <laughs> anyway, um, could you tell me a little bit about you and um, Ryan Entertainment? Sure. Um, Rock is Not Dead Entertainment is a parent company, and we have our own record label, um, Ryan Records. Uh, we have Ryan Entertainment, mm -hmm. which does a lot of um, artist management and Ryan management. And then we also have uh, Ryan Entertainment as a whole, which is a promotional company that does concerts and other promotional work for artists that are signed with us. Okay. Um, can we talk a little bit about you and uh, your experience in the entertainment field? Uh, I love talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about you. <laughs> Ask anybody. No, um, <laughs> honestly, I, I, music for me has been since, I, since the day I can remember my first memory. My mom was a touring drummer, and she was also a session drummer with Motown. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was always either around musicians in the studio or, you know, with mom when she was practicing. So a lot of my life, I was around a lot of um, very creative people in the industry. So growing up, I spent a lot of my time soaking all that in and uh, flash forward a few hundred years. Um, and <laughs> I, I just, I spent a lot of time doing uh, filler shows um, just because I know a lot of people and contact see venues and things like that mm -hmm. for bands that were on tour and had downtime and needed a show. And uh, after doing that for almost 10 years, somebody just kind of put a flashbulb in my head and they said, you know, we, we like doing shows for you. We like working with you. Why aren't you doing this? And I finally said, you know, why why am I not doing this? There's there's a spot in, the, in this industry right now that things need to change in. And we decided to do things different. Mm -hmm. And that's what brought me to where I am. Okay. That now... Bringing together, uh, and I'm going to change it up a little bit here. Um, if you have any uh, advice for the um, upcoming artists that are coming out, what would some of your advice be for them? Uh, play. Play, play, play. Take, get out there. Get your name out there. But number one and two, references. If you're, if you're approached by companies, if, you know, anybody wants to offer you something, as long as, you know, towards record contracts, booking agreements, agencies, talk to the other artists that work with them, find out who they are, how they handle things before you ever, ever work with them. That'd be my number one advice to anyone is make sure that the people that are currently working with someone are happy with them before you start working with them. And the other one is play. Get out there. Get your name out there. The, the best calling card you can have is a live show, period. Absolutely. I agree with you 100% on that. Um, as far as, like, uh, bridging the gap between venues and um, actually, like, the record labels and, men and management and stuff, um, where do you think that that can truly be improved? I mean, I know artists, and we talked about this earlier, is artists working together along with the uh, venues, the um, management companies. But where do you think that they could really, really improve to really bring I, I think, this together? I, I honestly think the, the biggest thing that I see quite frequently is communication. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 you know, a lot of times when you, you see all the bands and things online and, and venues and everybody wants to tell their story. Venues want you to understand how much they have invested in their place, and it's a lot. Bands mm -hmm. want you to understand to value their music when they come to your place. Agents just want to get bands to the places so that everybody can do what they do best. And there's just this kind of lack of communication out there now that that is really what needs to start happening more. Bands need to look at the venue side. Venues need to look at bands, and if we all work together like a big family mm -hmm. there there there's a way for this to work where everybody is happy everybody 
Absolutely. Well, I noticed... It's communication. Right. And I noticed when you speak in terms of the bands and the people that you have with you, you speak of them as your family, which is not something you hear um, with labels and management. So that kind of absolutely sets you apart right there, which shows that you show more individual attention to your bands. I do the best I can, but um, honestly, it, it is a family. If it wasn't for everybody that, not just the artists, but everybody I surround myself that works with me, but definitely my artists. Um, I call them all my kids because I am definitely <laughs> the oldest person in this company. But that attitude of being a family where it is everybody looks out for each other, mm-hmm. um, it helps bring everybody up. Everybody works together at this company and it makes it where every single person is looked at the same there's no second and third string team there's no this is the top band at the company this is you know um obviously we have bands in development obviously we have bands that are just out there and they have great records already out and they're touring um but we're all still family at the end of the day and that's what it really does make a difference it makes it where we want the best for our family and that's the same i am with my blood family here or my rock and roll family whether it's a venue or the artists that are with me that's my family right right now could you tell me about some of the artists that you actually represent and uh, where people can go and find them boy we just I, I, you know, amazing amazing week and a half here actually it's come about here Ryan. um <laughs> One, one, one of the things I want to get out there right away is Killing Rapunzel. Um, they got their new album, Taking Control Out, that went out on June 18th. Mm-hmm. Go to KillingRapunzel.com. You can find everything you need there. Um, Santa Marta, which is Mary Zimmer, who was in White Empress, and Luna Mortis and Eric Tyler have a band, new band out now called Santa Marta. Mm-hmm. Incredible stuff coming from them. Um, two songs are already out. Um, Consume the Divide from Chicago is with us now. You can definitely hit them up on their Facebook with their link to all these guys. You can hit on Facebook and it gives you their link to their actual web pages. Um, Once Around from Madison, Flaming Hollywood from out east in New York. Um, amazing band. I love those guys to death. Um, and then from overseas, you know, Dark Ship is on Ryan Records now and their album's going to be here pretty quick to go physical. Mm-hmm. Lyria works with us. Um, we manage Semblant, who's on EMP label group now, so that's a great thing. So, yeah, we got quite a few. Uh, Kenzie is just going miles away from um, even what I, my expectations were of her in the beginning. She's, she's played shows with a lot of great bands already, like Old Kingdom and Via, and they never say no. And and uh, just last week, she actually had uh, Marcus Lee, the drummer from Cobra and the Lotus, mm-hmm. came to, up and did a... Did a songs with her and it's just been a great time so yeah we got we got an amazing family over here and we still have room for more i like big families oh yeah well listen with kenzie uh, kenzie and dakota did a remake of uh close your eyes could you tell me a little bit about that that was uh actually it, everybody's got a different story about that but that was my <laughs> idea <laughs> actually, but I, honestly, we, we, I've known Kenzie for a couple of years now um, from another band that she's in. Um, it's an all-girl cover band here in Wisconsin called Eminence. Mm-hmm. And um, we, we reached out and to do an artist agency agreement with her. And uh, right away, the first time I, I ever got this in my head, I was just like, this would be a perfect song for these two because of the, their vocal style. Mm-hmm. And the day we hit the studio, I was just... I was blown away, and we actually knocked. I mean, they did two weeks of prep, you know, individually back and forth here in Dakota, but we knocked that song out and that video at ER Studios in Wausau in five hours. Wow, really? Absolutely. And I knew, I knew it was just that match made in heaven, and, and I like it personally. Oh, I loved it. When I saw it, I was like, oh, my gosh. You know how good that makes an 80s chick feel. I mean, come on. (laughs) I'm like, I'm your typical 80s metal chick anyway. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, my gosh, they are awesome. I told Dakota, I said, I couldn't praise him enough. But I didn't, of course, you know, I love Killing Rapunzel. They are such a 
great group of guys and once around i've had the chance to interview both of them and they're just uh i i really do and and i mean this from the bottom of my heart i see them and and being inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame they are good good bands um they got great heads on their shoulders as far as sitting down and talking to them for the age that they are their goals are set in place they know what they want they know how they're going to get it and they're professional enough to know exactly what to say to you and i i was just absolutely amazed by both bands oh it, it, amazing group like i said i call them all my kids but they're <laughs> miles above a, a lot of people i know in this industry that are in their mid-30s and been doing it for 20 years mm -hmm. um i've never seen between Once Round and Killing Rapunzel, that's what brought Killing Rapunzel to me was just their outlook at things and their plans, and they know exactly where they want to be and how they're going to get there, and they're, and nothing's getting in their way. And yeah. that's what I love about that band, 100% love about them, is they're going to do it. Once Around, I mean, it, they speak for themselves. It's, it's mm -hmm. any show, any time, and they're going to just knock your socks off, and you're going to come back. That's all there is to it. I don't know if you've noticed, but have you noticed the songwriting skill that these um, young artists have? I, as far as like their, uh, w to hear when they started playing, well, I only started playing two years ago. <laughs> I was like, what? Because some, I just, I was absolutely floored by some of these guys. And it's hard to take uh, a Connecticut girl's breath away. But let me tell you something. I was really surprised by the level of songwriting skill that they have and how they approach the subjects. And I know once around when we talked about their songs, Killing Rapunzel, I was, I couldn't believe the degree of writing that they do. It, it, you would think that they had been doing this for like 10, 20 years. And but, just to you know, find, go ahead. Again, when you look, when you look at the, the big picture of it, it's not always about, um, how long you played your instrument. I mean, it, it definitely helps, but when you're raised around music, um, when you listen to a certain type of music for your whole entire youth, it makes it easy to transform what's around you and your art because you can already have that structure around you. You know, these guys grew up listening to Iron Maiden and Pantera and, you know, um, once around, it's got a lot of that Motley Crue, Skid Row type feel to it, and a lot mm -hmm. of the glam bands, you know. Mm -hmm. So, it, the transfer of that, once you start to learn an instrument, is actually, you know, that's why there's so many really good bands out there now, to be honest with you, is there was such a boom of great music that they grew up on, that once they learn how to play an instrument and actual structure and, and composition, it just flows out. That's why there are so many good bands. It's, it's not because it's not an accident. They came out of an era of really good music. Right. Right. Yeah. I just, I, I know. And, and I'm so glad that I've actually had the chance to um, sit down and talk to them because a lot of the, the artists that I know from, you know, on the East coast and stuff, a lot of people were ab absolutely flabbergasted. Because they were like, wow, you know, you can't believe what you, you know, what you're hearing. Hello? You can't believe what you, you know, what you're hearing. Hello? What happened? <laughs> I am, I am still here. I didn't okay. you. Um, no, I've had people actually ask me, um, they are say, even make, compliment they're like wow have you heard some of the the music that's coming out and i'm like yeah i said these guys are absolutely they're, they're jaw dropping but anyway to push forward um because we could sit and talk about this all day <laughs> but i know you're busy so um what i wanted to do was uh help to push as many of your bands as I possibly can. I know it's got to be overwhelming for you to have all this talent just come at you at one time and you have to kind of separate it out. And I know that that's just got to be mind boggling to you too, you know? Well, I, I mean, I have, and honestly, I have this back to more of the family and the youth that's in this company. Um, my, our, my A&R rep 
and our, um, our social media consultant, Frost Talia, is, is she's young, but she's incredible. I mean, um, two of the bands we have from Brazil, she brought to me 100% on her own. Mm-hmm. She's super good at helping sort through these things and organizing um, my music world, believe me. And between <laughs> her and my partner in crime, my wife, um, mm-hmm. we do okay. We can keep up. <laughs> now, are you you're speaking of yeah you're speaking of frost correct yes absolutely there's another because that's how i came to you is through frost because yep. i was listening to frost um the music she had oh the girl's just absolutely incredible and you what an asset to your company that, absolutely absolutely but, but yep i mean we've we've actually i mean for somebody technically you know if you look at the overall our company is not even a year old yet. Hmm. Wow. Um, you know, legally. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what I've been doing for booking and helping folks has been a decade. But, mm-hmm. but Ryan Entertainment actually was born, um, actually will be a year in a couple of weeks here. It was right at the beginning of August last year when we actually opened the doors, mm-hmm. um, to say that way. And it's phenomenal, the amount of, talent that has found its way to us. I mean, this is just the beginning. We have so much more coming up over the next month or two that um, I wish I could share yet, but I can't. But as it comes along, I'll definitely make sure you're one of the first to know. Oh, well, thank you, Tom. I do appreciate that because, again, I love your artists. I think they're so... There's so much talent there that I I just, it really does, it mind blows me. Because I'm like, wow, when you can go to one place, and I look all over for music, and I, you know, I I know I've become kind of attached to your page. (laughs) Because I'm like, oh, wait, there's another band. And then I'll listen, I'm like, oh, man. So i got to listen to two or three of those songs, and then I'll ease my, oh, no, let me go here. And I'm always forever on your page because I'm looking at all the great bands and stuff you have. So thank you very, very much for joining me this morning and uh, having Absolutely. your coffee. And um, I again, this is Mr. Tom Hooks with Rind Entertainment. Please go check out all of his artists. Say he's got Killing Rapunzel, Once Around. There's several artists on there that you should check out. And please check out all the dates that he has. Um, he'll have stuff that he'll be posting up on new bands. And also, Dark Ship. So this is Jackie Eister Song Astray. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me and Tom. And Tom, thank you so much for being with me today. Yep. Have a good one. You too. All right, that was uh, Mr. Tom Hooks from Ryan Entertainment. And uh, I'm going to be playing for you Drowning in Fire by Santa Marta. Please make sure you look up Santa Marta. They're a great, great band. So here we go. Drowning in Fire.
Yeah, that was Drowning in Fire by Santa Marta. Next, I have Idol by Once Around. Yeah, that was Idle by Once Around, and now coming up is S&M by Killing Rapunzel. Watch away. 
And that was Killing Rapunzel with S&M, also a Rind Entertainment that they belong to Rind Entertainment. So, so far we've got Santa Marta, which just came on not too long ago with Rind Entertainment. Please check out their music. Once Around with Idol and S&M with Killing Rapunzel. Make sure you go out and check out everybody's website. And again, Tell them that you enjoy their music. That really means a lot to these musicians. So thank you very much. And this is Jackie Eister Songistry. Have a good night. <laughs>